Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to the Art Money Success Podcast. I am your host, Maria Brophy, and we are talking about murals. Today, we're going to talk about how to get hired for a mural project. Now, you can make a lot of money painting murals if that's your jam. And so in this podcast, I'm going to talk to you about three different ways to get a mural project. And I'm going to talk to you about whether or not you need a website. And I'm going to talk to you about a bonus way of getting the word out. And a little old-fashioned strategy that still works today. And I just want to say I do have an online course where I go deep into all the ways to get mural jobs. And if you're interested, just click the link in the show notes. Otherwise, um, just listen and I will give you the cliff notes. Okay. So first of all, do you need a website? No, you do not. Although having a website is absolutely helpful you're going to get a lot out of social media. What you really need is just a place to show people examples of murals you painted in the past. Now, if you are new to painting murals, you need to paint at least three murals so you have good photos and good examples of what you're capable of doing. So find some walls to paint and get really good photos and then put that on your website or like i said if you don't have a website that's fine instagram facebook pinterest any place online where you can put photographs where people can see the beautiful work that you're capable of doing now there are a couple different ways to get mural projects one is the passive way. And the second is the active way and probably way more effective. But most of you are going to prefer the passive way because that's just human nature, right? So passive means you're, you're not going door to door. You're not selling yourself. Basically, you're just posting it on social media and you are showing people what you can do, showing people video clips, photos of murals that you painted. And hey, if you paint a lot of murals, really that's all you need to do because you're going to be, um, you're, you're going to develop a relationship for being a muralist. Word gets around, word of mouth if you do a great job. And eventually people just start coming to you and you really don't have to market yourself that much for artists that have been doing this a long time. If you've only got a few mural projects under your belt, you're fairly new, this is where you have to get real active and hit up businesses in your local area. Whether you live in a city or you live in a small town, if there are businesses in your area, there are going to be people that need murals. And I'll give you a few examples. Pediatric dental offices, they love having really fun stuff painted on their walls. It's great for their customers. Hospitals, restaurants, banks. There was a restaurant in my town years back that was an Italian restaurant, and they hired a muralist to paint um, what you would see if you were in an Italian villa. So these beautiful, the walls looked like you were looking out of a window of an Italian villa. So there's a lot of local opportunities. And what you do is you just hit up those businesses and you say, hey, this is what I do. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about that in just a minute. And in my online course, I tell you exactly. I go deep into how to sell yourself. Another way to get mural projects, and a lot of you might not know this, and I go deep into this in my course as well, but I'll give you the cliff notes. You may not know this, but there are local governments that actually have money put aside for beautification projects 
and they have to spend it on things like murals and sculptures and art. Now, some of them advertise it and most of them don't. So what you could do is call your local city government, county government, state government, and say, hey, do you have money set aside for beautification projects? I'd love to get me some of that money. The third idea I'm going to throw out to you right now is going to online websites where they have call for entries. And there's a website I'll just tell you about right now called callforentry.org. And in the United States, governments, businesses, entities that have money set aside for beautification projects, wall mural projects, and other art projects, they will post on there. So you go on that site, just like you're going on a dating site, you're going to go through this site and sift through the millions of opportunities and see which ones are a fit for you. Now, one thing that you can do as a bonus is create a postcard or a flyer with photos of murals that you painted and all your contact information. And please, 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 for the love of God, put your phone number on it. Because one little thing that you young guns under 40 might not know is that a lot of the people with the money are older and older people tend to use the telephone. I know because I'm one of those older people. Okay. If I have the option to choose three different artists for a project, and I've had this many, many times, the artist that answers the phone is the one most likely to get hired. Most likely is the one that I'm going to work with. So put your phone number on these flyers and give them out to people. Let everybody you know, everybody you meet know that you paint wall murals. And then please, please, please answer your phone when it rings and hey, if it's spam, hang up. Don't be afraid of the spam phone call. And don't be afraid of weirdos calling you. You know, my personal cell number is all over the internet and it has been for years. And do I get wacko calls every now and again? Yeah, every now and again, it's no big deal. I just hang up and block. It's not, and, and actually it almost never happens. I can't remember the last time I got a weirdo phone call. But I can tell you that a lot of the phone calls I get are people wanting to buy art or hire us for an art project. And that's why I answer my phone every time it rings, even if it might be spam. Now, what do you do if you get a phone call from someone that says, hey, I got your email or, hey, you stopped in my business and I've been thinking about it and I do want a mural. What's next? What do we do next? Or how much does it cost? Or what's your process? So that will be in our next podcast. And in the meantime, I would love it if you hit subscribe. And if you left me a review or a comment, depending on which platform you're listening to this on, and hey, while you're at it, check out my online mural course and proposal template package where I do all the work for you, including I explain to you who keeps the copyrights and how you maintain ownership of that, how to price your mural and what prices I use and what other artists charge. and how to word things in your proposal to protect yourself, how to handle the money end of it. That's really important. And also how to make your mural clients super happy, like just little things that you might not be thinking of. So um, yeah, just check it out. Check it out. Click the link in the show notes and I will see you on the next one. Thank you all for listening. I do love you. I do, I do, I do. And I hope some of the information I share makes your life just a little bit 
or a lot easier because that's my whole purpose in life. See you next.